Welcome back to Truber Brook, Chapter 3, The Tannhauser Gate. Where am I? Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Shh. Shush. This way. What? What is, she what doing? is this place? And into the light. I've arrived at some sort of mining facility. It looks abandoned. Judging by our tracks, I've almost caught up with Gretchen. Gretchen leaving tracks. We're on to you, Gretchen. All right. What we got going on here? No way. That hurtling chain would probably hurt me very badly. Good observation. It's the same device as down in the valley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kind of figured as much. Uh, let's check. Is this an outhouse? A compartment in which to shed tools. Um, tool shed is what I meant to say. Surely there's goodies in here. Locked. That are locked. An old ore mining cart. Beyond repair. I can repair it. It is missing the fourth wheel. With the fourth wheel? The ashes in this fire pit are still warm. Maybe someone cooked him or herself a meager dinner. Really? She came over here, set up camp, made a campfire, cooked a dinner while that was all happening? Really? Something's weird's going on here. A belt! I can keep my trousers up, I guess. It seems like someone wanted to avoid any misunderstandings. What are they trying to say? No chance. Solid oak. Okay, so... Oh, there's a pile here. Debris. Let me guess, a round rock or something. What's that? People keep losing helmets all the time. We shall wear this helmet! For safety is our main concern. Alright. Can't do anything with a ladder. Oh, I can I can actually work with the chain. This chain is part of the cable car. Thank you, Einstein. Maybe we take one of these out, put the belt around it, and use that as a wheel? Let's have at it. Have at what? What are we doing? This apparently. I can't reach it. This apparently. Okay, well that seems like a fantastic idea. Maybe I can use it later to ride back into town. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll grab that gear then. I could use it to attach something to the mining cart, but what? Well, I thought the chain, but apparently not. So, one would think that I would turn this wheel and it'll open that up. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Hell yeah, here I come tools, ready or not. C3H8. Propane. Highly flammable. Okay. Um, let's take it then. <laughs> we'll carry that on us. Fire. Fantastic. Is that it? Alright. Um, can I, can I run? Oh. Am I going to blow this up? Wow. Here we go. Wait, what? Wait, what? This seems dangerous. Ah! It was very Guybrush-like. It's something Guybrush would have done, for sure. Am 
am I supposed to do something? I, I think I jumped that. Every click I made, he would go, whoa. That was triggered by me. I think I jumped on that incline and made it crash. I think. I could be wrong. Maybe that was predetermined. All right. We have adventure ahead of us. Let's do this. Beverly, the time has come. I am stranded. Trapped deep underground in some sort of godforsaken cave. It's freezing cold. I can hardly see a thing. Whoever finds this recording, please hand the cassette tape to Miss Beverly. And now this. I'm pretty sure that exact line was said in Twin Peaks. Pretty sure. Hello? Echo. Okay. Darn. My attempts at resourceful engineering have not withstood the tests of time. You're not an engineer. Completely kaput. Kaput! Phew. Always remember to wear your helmets, kids. Do you guys say the word kaput? Where I grew up, which had a lot of um, German and, and Polish heritage, kaput was a very popular word. It gave up the ghost. I'm assuming it's German. I actually don't really know. But I assumed it was. Away with it. Hell yeah. Oh, stuff. What's down here? That's a pretty deep drop. I can't even see the floor from here. Always the caves. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me? Wait, what is that again? I don't remember. Um, either way, I don't want to use it quite yet. Maybe I can swing over. It's pick there. I didn't see that before. Years of decay made this pipe brittle. It's almost coming off the wall. I wonder if a pick will do it. This valve is missing its rotary handle. What is that? What part of the card is that? Completely kaput. Phew. Always remember to wear your helmets, kids. Thank you for that. Nope, don't use it there, but use it there. Hit it. Um, I'm not sure that did a whole lot of anything. This valve is missing its rotary handle. What what did that do exactly? Years of decay made Also, do I do I have that that pick? I don't remember what the inventory button is. Oh my god, what's the inventory button? I don't even know. Oh, what's this? Slag tight. You know an easy way to tell the difference between a stalagmite and a stalag. Interesting rock formation. It doesn't look too solid. At least the way I always remember it. A stalagmite is like the letter M. Might. So they're sticking up from the ground. A stalactite is like the letter T. So it's coming down from the top. That's an easy way to remember the difference between stalagmites and stalactites. There's some sort of light beyond. Gretchen? Okay. Well, um... I feel like it's time to fish. I've heard that cave fishing is a thing, but I'm really not in the mood right now. Okay, I I, I can understand that. Uh, was this a coin or a button or something? I don't remember. Oh, 
I am making a wish as I throw a coin into the water as if it were a fountain. Okay. I wish I could someday find someone to really connect to. <laughs> I wish I could... <laughs> I wish I could stay in Trevor Brook forever. That wasn't much of a flip. I just got an achievement, Future Imperfect. Whatever, I thought this would be perfect. This pickaxe is probably the only tool around here that could be useful to me. Okay, fair. Fair. Can I pry this cog off and use it over on that valve? I can. Okay. Good thing there's no monkey wrench involved in this puzzle. All right. There you go. Water march. Is that going to raise the water levels up here? I is, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh. Yeah, it's it's not. But okay. Does does this feel like? Oh, of course. The, the the rail goes right across there. I gotcha. So. That's a pretty deep drop. It, it sure is, guy. I can't even see the floor from here. There's got to be some water down there somewhere. Well, of course there is. I've heard the. What am I missing then? Years of decay made... Yeah, 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 yeah. Phew. All... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I throw my pick at the tight? I sure can. Okay, cool. Is that going to plug a hole in the ground? Causing the water to fill up, I bet? Of course. Of course it does! Makes sense. Okay, now I got me a boot. And we're off! Where, where we're off to? Nobody knows. Also, did Gretchen go this way? And how did she go this way? Or that way. Wait, where am I going? Exactly. I can't control the boat. This is a cutscene. Very slow cutscene. Is he just going to get to the rail and climb up there? I guess so. Oh, I can I can do this now. Okay. Tenhauser and Gretchen finally reunite. It's not a new chapter then? That's, that's a weird, like... Oh, you finally made it! I almost thought you'd never come. You're a little loud, Gretchen. Look at you, covered in dirt. Did you stumble all the way here through the old mines? Uh, I don't have to answer that. Anyway, you're not going to believe what just happened to me. Yeah, I guess you're right. You gotta tell me every single detail when we have the time. I, 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 I sense snark in her. They sure have big doors around here. It looks like they really wanted to make sure there was no trespassing. Okay. Oh, I got my cursor. Lovely. We got a rope here, so she bypassed all that apparently with a rope. Did you actually rappel down? Of course. How else? <laughs> I took I took the difficult way, Gretchen. Maybe this is some kind of activation device. Okay. Activate. And again. We uh, need to get that door open. I, I just started, girl. All right, hold on. Let's talk to Gretchen. Wow. Congratulations. I think you found your ritual site. 
Um. Yeah, let's go with this. I was abducted, imprisoned, and scrutinized by a mad scientist, among other things. You must have bumped your head too hard. No, no. For real, there is an old sanitarium down this valley. I thought no one's lived there in ages. There's at least one so-called scientist. He conducted a wide range of crazy tests on me. Tests? Yes, he had me talk about colors and answer personal questions. Denhauser, are you sure you haven't suffered some sort of brain damage? Why she gotta go there? How do I know? Um... I found your camp outside. It's not hers. Yes. Oh, it is. I waited for you. But since it took you so long, I couldn't resist going ahead. Enough talk. Let's find a way to open this monstrous gate. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I was very judgy on uh, how quickly she set up a camp. But we were in that mad scientist lab for quite a while, weren't we? So I guess that kind of does make sense. What do you think? Who'd build such a thing? No idea. Definitely not my proto-Germans. Uh, all right, I'm still wondering who built this. And why? Aliens. It's always aliens. I've been thinking. What if it wasn't meant to keep someone out, but to keep something in? Let's find out. Now, keep in mind, if you guys remember... Ooh, I didn't see that at first. We're going to have to look at that. Keep in mind that the um, the dev did say that I think it's, it's the door at the beginning of Chapter 3, or the one that leads to Chapter 3 is where all the spoilers seem to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'll end the... Any ideas? Settle down, girl. I'll end the episode before the door, and I may do, like, one episode after the door for those who want the spoilers. And um, that way you're not spoiled and you can get the game yourself and continue on if you do so wish. But anyways, um, well, there's multiple markings up here. What's that over there? Just letting you know, because I think we're Just coming upon it. It's not this door. I know what the door looks like, and it's definitely not that. What's that over there? Interesting. Are you thinking what I am thinking? I am. Is this a graffito? Down here. In any case, it's hard to decipher. Are you seeing that hexagon there as well? No idea. You've got the door open already? So look, this seems to have activated one of the lights on the vault door. I don't you like see that afterglow that they're spelling it out. I don't get it. Open sesame melon. All right, so we highlighted this and it lit up the door. Obviously, we got a. Oh, the other one's no longer lit over here. Oh, up here. I'm sure What's we got to do there? it in a certain order, right? You're not gonna believe this. That's These runic. are Germanic runes, my special field of interest. Huh, this one roughly translates to <clears throat> Be gone, stranger, for all you may find here is certain death. She's yanking her crank. Interesting. Maybe these inscriptions are somehow connected to the opening mechanism. Some sort of photonic reception, perhaps. Um, uh, alright. If you say so, bub. Is there another somewhere? Oh! Beverly, for a moment I thought I was a goner. Now that I've been able to escape this compromising situation, Gretchen and I are standing in front of a gigantic steel gate. I'll get back to you with more details. Right to Beverly. Exciting. These must be the thrills they advertised. They indeed were. All right, so we're looking for another thing to interact with on the wall somewhere. I, am I just supposed to follow her flashlight? And I think so. Go over here. She's is she okay? Not following the same pattern. Over here. What happened to that one that was right there? There was one there, but I do not see it anymore. Alright, so we got two lights, and I don't... Oh, oh, oh. What's so they're elsewhere there? in the cave. Okay, gotcha. 
only a flock of bats? Or is it a swarm? A herd? A gaggle? I do not know what a group of bats is called. Also, there's one there. Could you point the light in this direction? Ah, interesting. This looks like a Latin inscription. Hang on to your head. Interpreted freely, this translates to path of no return. <laughs> Hogwash, you Romans. Um, Did you notice that other little light turning on? All right. Why would there why would there be like Latin here and Germanic runic up there? Oh, 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 oh. Could you point the light in this direction? Mm, just a shadow. There shouldn't be a shadow over in the shadows. That seems disturbing. What do you make of this? Weird. Tenhauser, these are ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. What are they doing here? I'm afraid I don't know too much about them. This pictogram on the left could mean door or gateway. It's followed by the symbol of death. Doesn't that spark your curiosity as well? So Latin, ancient Egyptian there, hieroglyphs. Light. What? I didn't point to the other light. What do you mean? Oh, one came on. And 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 runic up there seems like a very weird combination. I'm getting the feeling that we're gonna run into like a Stargate type of thing where we're we're gods were Can we're, I get a light here? We're actually aliens. No, nothing. What was that? Is that what that's for? The nothings lead us to something. Please light up these symbols. Wow. Okay. These look like Neolithic cave paintings. Yeah, this is like Blair Witch. Who would have okay. A group of stickmen fallen asleep around some sort of hexagon. Tenhauser. This is sensational. Fallen asleep? This is some Blair Witch now there shit. Are five lights. What does it mean? It means we can press this. Hopefully. And again. Uh What do you think? Who'd build such a thing? No idea. What do you think about these scribblings? All right, maybe she'll give me some information. Maybe. What do you think? Why is this place all covered in scribblings? This is puzzling. All of these characters are in different languages. It's impossible to tell from down here whether they were written in different eras as well. Okay. Um, that didn't help me. I mean, she did point out the eras. I'm still wondering. I feel like, I feel like they gotta go in a certain order. It's gotta be by era, Could you right? Up the cave maybe, paintings for me again? maybe I'm just getting the era wrong. All right. the The problem is, I have, I have no idea what this is up here. Can we take a look at the graffito again? Like I have no idea. I can't even tell. Is that just plain old graffiti? Okay, can I start over? I'm not sure if I can. Could you show me that ruin thing again? All right, let's go with- Could you light up the cave paintings for me again? The cave paintings. And then, oh God, that's so long. Please the point the hieroglyphs. the hieroglyphs again. Then Latin? Please show me the Latin inscriptions again. Then the runic. Could you show me that ruin thing again? And the graffiti. Can we take a look at the graffito again?
Again, five lights. This looks promising. It is promising! This cave has obviously been visited by explorers for millennia. Can I leave Isn't my mark? is strange that all of them left warnings on the wall? And whoever built this gigantic vault wanted to make sure that only a human with the right set of knowledge could open it. Maybe long after its architects ceased to exist. I assume this is why they utilized all of these different writings. They literally left the code on the wall. In case of an emergency? Remarkable. Remarkable! Yes! Um, let's get going. Move faster. I want to see what's inside. Tenhauser and Gretchen make a discovery. Okay. Let me find the light switch first. Oh, he actually does want me to find the light switch. Okay. Also, that's the door, by the way. That's the door that's got all the spoilers. So at the end of this episode, I'm going to do whatever... What an enormous compound. I'm going to do whatever I can inside this room. Call it an episode. Let's take a look around. This is exciting. Um, actually, it's either this door or this door. I don't remember which one it is that has the secrets. I think it's that one. Did you see that pretty large particle accelerator? Wow. Oh. Okay. Well, look at all look at all these goodies everywhere. All sorts of strange gadgetry. So look around here, call it an episode, and the next episode, when I step through there, I assume, we'll show what's there, and you could decide for yourself whether you want spoilers. All this modern hardware must have cost a fortune. Modern? We didn't even have anything remotely this size at my university. Oh, I guess, I guess this is 60s, right? I guess that would be modern. No idea what purpose they might serve. You're talking to the future or somewhere else in the solar system. Hmm. Something is wrong with the engine powering the solar system. Yes, it doesn't look As like... As if the universe was out of balance. <gasps> Does this actually control the universe? I bet you it does. I'd rather not come too close to this killing machine. <laughs> Druberbrook is the center of the universe. Gonna move on there, Chuck. An opening mechanism. Okay. An elevator. It seems to be defective. You're defective. All right. Is there anything else to click on here? Nothing on the ground. How about her? Any idea? I wonder who or what's behind all of this. It seems to me like the only place left to go is the door. And we'll save that for next episode. If you are calling it uh, a day here and you're not going to look at the spoilers, then again, remember, you can pick this game up over on Steam. Um, go ahead and do that. I, I think um, games like this are rare, right? Not not just with with the content, but, but with this type of art style. This is super rare stuff. So um, maybe head over to Steam, um, purchase the game, support the dev, play the game out for yourself. And um and if you're if you're here for the spoilers next episode I guess we'll see you then. Bye-bye.